Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a video on how I paint up some federal ACW troops. So this is just a short little uh, group of guys representing a regiment. I have already painted the flags. You can see I just put some brown on there with a little bit of white to represent the eagle. And then on the other side is just some red with some stripes and everything like that. Great thing about this camera is it shows everything, but the great bad thing about this camera is it shows everything. So uh, you can see it all. Um, uh, the paint scheme on this is very, very simple. Uh, Vallejo, uh, sky blue, deep sky blue, uh, some flat flesh. Uh, some Prussian blue is what I have uh, spray painted these guys all over with. Uh, but I have that on hand just in case I mess up. And I have, let's see some old gold and some silver here uh, and then just a little bit of red as well so that's uh that's the paints that i'm using um so uh, these guys paint up uh, super fast i always find that i paint my confederates first um, and then do my uh, union last because they always paint up so easily compared to the confederates so uh, first thing I do is I start off with just a little bit of uh, blue, sky blue, and I paint the pants. As that video says, I will paint your pants blue, or that movie. All right. Um, just flip them over on the back, and just a simple... Drag across, and make sure that you hit the ends just a little bit. You don't have to go in between them, but uh, get some there. All right. Um, next thing I do is I'm actually going to come in with, oh, I forgot to show this color, um, some brown uh, uniform, English uniform, brown. Um, I like to paint my muskets with this stuff. So uh, the muskets uh, sit up against the guy's shoulders. Um, I start on the front and, sorry, start on the front. And all I do is just drag down the side. I mostly worry about just the tops of the muskets. Um, the models actually do have them going down below onto their chest a little bit, but this seems to work. Uh, I do worry about painting the back muskets also. And one thing that I also paint this brown is the flagstaffs. Yep. All right, um, I do try to go in the back and I just hit the back sides of the muskets. I don't worry about the uh, front rank, I just do the back rank. All right, so that's it. Um, did a pretty good job without getting any much brown on any of the other guys there. Next thing I do is I come in with just a little bit of flesh and I'm going to just up underneath their kepis, put just a little bit dab if I can, kind of drag my brush and hit the faces. I just worry about the front ranks again. And then I go in and I hit, there's a hand here at the base of the rifle musket. I try to just put a small dab on each of those, get the hands that are carrying that, the drummer boy. All right, that's all I worry about. I don't worry about the second rank for the flesh, just too much of a pain and you really can't see it when it comes out. All right, I'm gonna hit this drum with a little bit of red. And 
Let's see. Now I'm gonna come in with some silver and I'm going to hit the tips of the muskets. And hit that with just some silver to make it look like they have their bayonets on or at least the ends of the muskets are glinting in the sunlight. You can kind of just drag it slightly above the head and hit tips of the muskets. Uh, I actually got some on the hats there, but that is what the Prussian blue is for. So any of those hats, they got a little too much blue on them. I can go back in and just touch up. Um, okay, with the silver as well, there's one guy here who's got a sword. Let me put it in frame for you. One guy here with a sword. So I just swipe that sword. And then the next color is gold. I hit the tops, the ends of the uh, flagpoles. And then I put just a dab of gold on the officer's hat. That's, of course, way too much gold for what he really needs, but it definitely marks him, and you can see that a little bit further off than you normally would. All right, so that, honestly, is it as far as painting goes. You can see that there is more details on these figures than I actually care to paint. I'm sure someone out there who's crazier than I um, will certainly do this. And then I finally uh, just come back in with a simple Agrax Earthshade, and I will wash this uh, all across. Um, but before I do that, I will take a nice dark brown and actually hit the base and uh, just color that, and then make sure that the wash gets deep down inside between every single uh, guy there so that uh, it makes nice, just a nice uh, dark hole. So that's it, that is how I paint um, two millimeter, uh, federal troops. We'll talk to you later.